Yo, Wagwan people, it's your boy Shroff, aka Illu, repping Trap 93, uh, FKK Records, Alpha Music, and Capson Pro Audio. Today, I'm taking you through a little tutorial on vocal production. Um, and I produce um, mainly hip hop, rap, grime, trap music. And uh, obviously, I work with a lot of vocalists. So. Uh, this example, this tune that I've got here is a good example because it was released a couple of days ago. It's called By Landy by Dells featuring Black O, Our Bling and Strive. So four vocalists there. So it's a good example to show you because there's four different vocalists. So right here you've got um, Black O doing the first verse. Right there you've got Dells doing the second verse and then you've got Strive here doing the third verse. And now in between them, here all of these blocks here that's our bling doing the chorus doing the hook so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just play play the hook just so you've got an idea of what the track's like if you haven't um had the opportunity to listen to the full track on soundcloud so here we go yeah you I'm hot. Come, come, suffer. This me, they in the head. All right, so right there, you just heard, you just heard the hook. So, so if you can see, let me just make this a bit bigger so you guys know exactly which one it is. Yeah, these ones here. So, so these three tracks make up hours hook vocal all right so um, we've got three tracks there they're all slightly different saying the same thing so the first thing i did to sort of thicken this up was um i, I got all three tracks and the one that's labeled our c right i basically just panned that center that's what the c stands for um and if you look here where my cursor is um you know what let me just try and open this up i can only capture one screen but um I can drag the mixer over. There you go. All right. So here, <coughs> you can see that's panned to center. The second track is panned all the way hard left, and the third track is panned all the way hard right. So what you get is, when you hear that hook, is a nice, really wide sound with the hook dead in the middle, dead dead left, dead right. It's going to be all these human intricacies that are making them uh, files different, and it, it just adds to to a very wide and, and rich sound now what i've done also just to um sort of make things easier to control because i'm treating the one hook as uh, a single element a single bit i've i've uh, if you see here i've grouped all of these three one two three boom and then instead of going to the main output it's going to the hour bus output which is this that way when it comes to mixing levels between the verses and the choruses i can use this control on this bus and it's easier okay that's fairly simple stuff so right now, let's look at the main vocal lead, which is panned in the center for this hook and how I've treated that. I think I've treated them all the same, very similar, and just turned down the two ones on either side of the center. So let's just solo this and play this for you now. Yeah, nakala, send hol yang ba. You hate in on me cause then bars it and la We straight up be the villa so can do your moon and We do more and talk less, come kula who si pa. Nakala, send hol yang ba. All right, and I'm gonna play play it grouped together as a solo. Yeah, nakala send hol yang e ba. You hate in on me cause then bars it and la. We straight up be the villa so can do your moon and. All right, so you can see already when when you add the two hard left and hard right pans, um, it really brings it out. So let's just unpan those for a minute, and I'm just gonna focus on the main one and what I've done there. Okay, so the vocal on its own before I got it into the mix session and everything just give you the dry version yeah yeah nakala send hol yang e ba you hate in on me cause then bars it and la we straight up be the way and then with all my effects on yeah nakala send hol yang e ba you hate in on me cause then bars it and la all right so you should be able to hear a big difference there i'm gonna take you through exactly what's been done <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so Firstly, obviously, I added an EQ. 
All right, so I'm gonna play this and turn the EQ on. Let's see what I did. Yeah, Nakala, send Hol Yang bah. There you go. Nothing too esoteric, nothing too crazy. Uh, female vocal, so I can roll it pretty high up just to get rid of any rumble. And I really wanted to get uh, the sort of main character of her voice in the sort of high mid. So what have I done? I've rolled off just under 200 hertz there. Yeah, Nakala, send Hol Yang bah. Okay, without the EQ. Yeah, Nakala, send Hol Yang bah. You hate you know me cousin bossy then la With We shrey the be the villa so can do your moon and we do more and talk less come kula husipa. Alright, so some of you ain't gonna hear a difference. Um I can hear a, a big difference. Um and that just all comes with experience and, and time. Um but yeah, it, it, it does two things. To me, it sounds completely different and it also just frees up all this headroom. Generally speaking, with bass heavy music, apart from your kick uh, your bass, your sub, and maybe a little bit of your snare, like, you really want to, like, you, you really want to cut low frequencies to give room for that. Um, it's not always necessary, but it's, I find it just good housekeeping, yeah? So that's the name of the game. So that's the EQ. Um, next thing I've done is I've added a compressor. Now, um, I've just used a Renaissance compressor from the Waves package. Um, fairly fast attack, um, average release, um and yeah fairly fairly light uh compression on the ratio but the threshold's pretty far down so um it's basically compre it looks like it's compressing all the time but it's not compressing that hard all the time uh, and i like the warm setting sometimes i use the smooth setting sometimes warm um uh, electro and opto I, I i don't really use opto unless i want something really transparent but i wanted to put some character on this <coughs> hence why i'm using a renaissance compressor all right so let's turn it on and off yeah, Nakala, send Hol Yang a bah. You hate you know me cousin Bozzy then la. We shrey the be the villa so can do your moon and na. We do more and talk less come kula husipa. Alright, so again, uh, some of you might not be able to hear the difference because it might be too subtle for you. But I, again, for me, I can hear that if it's definitely adding colour to it, it it's, it's giving it uh, what I call a hotness to it, um, which is a very, very kind of light distortion, which you wouldn't even really... A register is a distortion but it's adding a flavor to it it's adding a color to it um yeah as Nakala, you can see, send yang bah. Oh, i'm sorry there you go you it was on the other screen so you guys wouldn't be able to see it so here's the renaissance compressor my bad let's go through that again so as, as i said pretty pretty um light uh ratio it's fairly fast attack average release but yeah Nakala, send yang bah. You hate you know it's pretty much compressing all the time, lightly. Uh, so if you notice here, it's crossing the threshold pretty much all the time. Yeah, Nakala, send Hol Yang a bah. You hate you know me cousin Bozzy then la. And what I've done is I've brought up the gain by just over 2 dB, just to kind of match the threshold coming in, because as you compress, things get quieter. All right, so that still sounds pretty kind of bland and vanilla. Um, now, this is, a, this is one of my secret weapons. I don't mind giving this away right now. Um, there's a plugin from uh, JJP from a Waves collection called JJP Vocal Puig. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, but just, I just call it JJP Vocals. Um, so this has an EQ section, as a compression section, as a, a deesser section. It also has these controls here. Now the magic button is basic. The magic uh, fader is basically an exciter, so it's just adding harmonics. So I like to keep that fairly conservative, but you know, keep up there as well. So yeah, it is being used. Um, the space adds a kind of slapback, a very fast slapback delay slash reverb, short reverb. Um, now I've turned that all the way down because I've got the uh, time-based effects like sends and reverbs um, going on ascend. Uh, sorry, delays and reverbs going on ascend, as you can see around here. I'll come to that after this chain. Um, I've kept the attack, uh, you know, fairly uh, conservative and the attitude fairly conservative because this is a female vocalist. I didn't really feel like to, to push her that hard. Uh, the presence is fairly mediocre, but essentially what this plugin gives you is magic. All right. Um, I've, I've turned up the highs on that because if you've noticed on this EQ here, I only did subtractive EQ. So subtractive EQ to clear up the, the mud sort of thing. And then with this plugin to add a bit of character to that to the high end, like 
yeah i just added it there keep the sensitivity at 12 so let me just uh, play this to you now yeah nakala sen hol yang e ba you hate you know me cousin boss it and la okay now with the effect yeah nakala sen hol yang e ba you hate you know me cousin boss it and la we straight up be the villa so can do your moon and we do more and talk less come kula husipa all right, now even even the people who can't really hear subtle differences in processing should be able to hear that at least the high end boost that it's given. Um, um, so yeah, that's basically the 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 simple chain I've got on that vocal. Um, other vocals I might do differently. I don't know what I've done with the other vocals on this, but sometimes I like to use API EQs and and compressions. I've just kept this one fairly simple. So the JJP doing a lot there. Now. I've added on a send effects a lexicon hall reverb and a guitar rig tape echo delay. I, I do use H delay by waves quite a lot. I guess I was feeling kind of fruity with this, so went into the guitar rig. But yeah, it works. So now let's let's add the, the two send effects and see what this central vocal chain sounds like. Yeah, nakala, send hol yang e ba. You hate you know me cousin boss it and la. We straight up be the villa so can do. Okay, sounds beautiful. And pretty much um, copied. Yeah, I've just copied with the studio one. You can just drag and copy. So I basically copied this chain to the ones that are pan far left and far right. And just to make the lead still stand out, the central one still stand out. I've turned these down quite a few dB in comparison. As I said, I have grouped them all to this group. Um, there's a compressor on there, but I turned it off. I didn't end up using the compressor on the bus. So here we go. Hey. Yeah, nakala, send hol yang e ba. You hate you know me, cousin boss it and la. We straight up be the villa, so can do you moon and We do more and talk less, come kula. All right, now with the with the music. Because remember, I mix with the music. I'm not really mixing solo in, so. Yeah, nakala, send hol yang e ba. You hate you know me, cousin boss it and la. We straight up be the villa, so can do you moon and We do more and talk less, come kula husipa. Nakala, send hol yang e ba. All right, so that's basically the hook vocal pretty simple if you get if you get a good recording you shouldn't really need to tweak too much to get a tone and to get a consistency you just need to find that sweet spot and depending what the vocalists range and, and frequencies and fundamentals lie it's going to be different so there ain't going to be one rule for everyone the guy who's uh, engineering someone like gigs um is going to be in a totally different world to someone engineering someone like gets for instance yeah those are the two sort of two extremes a uh, very high pitched sort of nasal voice at one end and a very low uh, fundamental voice in the other so just bear in mind the material that I'm that I'm using and and what I'm doing so that was a female vocal for the chorus all right let me just move this out of the way now let's get to the first verse this is by um an artist called Blacko from Delza's crew. Oh yeah, sorry. Before I do that, let's just check the, quickly check out the ad libs. So, with our bling, she's got a couple of ad libs going on, which I put after the bus because I haven't sent them to the same bus. I'm just putting these outside. I just didn't uh, didn't want them sort of sitting in the same sort of space. So, um, I haven't even put an EQ on that. I've literally just panned them hard left, hard right plenty of reverb and delay on them and just here and here where did they come in um yeah here and here and these a's as well down here okay so you notice with the ad libs um and this is something i do with a lot of my ad libs um uh something you'll find is quite heavily used on people like asap ferg's vocal production techniques with his ad libs basically swamping these ad libs in in reverb and and even a distortion just puts it in a real different space makes it nice and wet 
Um, all right, so moving on to Blacko. Here we go. So he's basically got a lead track and an ad lib track. So let's just listen um, to what Blacko's got to say. Go on, G. Money. Hey. I'm hot. Come, come, suffer. This me, they in the head. Come, satala. Word up, black O, top shot a lot. Son in you niggas, pop a lot. <laughs> pim, pim, pandi gal them. From, from, from Gambia to Kingston. See me, I got a problem. Like, like, like ASAP and them song. Pink thong, shorty got a big thong. Slam dunk on that motherfucker like brawn. Lights off, lights on. I'm gone. In and out like a fast food restaurant. All right. So. Let's find them here. So for the lead, let's just turn let's just turn all the effects off for Black Hole, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Here's what it sounds like on its own. I just take the um these have been linked, I think. Let me just unlink these. Okay, cool. Um Money, hey, hey, I'm hot. Come, come, suffer. This me, they in the head. Come, satala. Word up, black O, top shatala. Yeah, again, you know, pretty rough, really. Uh, so the first thing I do is the EQ. And really, before I tweak the EQ, I'm looking at the uh, frequency response to see what I want to do. Money, hey, hey, I'm hot. Come All right, so I've done a low cut at, um, or a high pass at 128. Um, so it's a male vocal. I want to leave a little bit of low end on there just to give him that, you know, the God voice thing. So not taking it as, up, uh, uh, as high up as the female vocal. Um, but yeah, basically cutting it off around the point where the kick drum will sort of have the most energy. I could take it up a little bit, but I'm left it there. Um, yeah, just tidying up a bit of low, mid, mud around 500. You get me? Just th There can be a little bit of clutter around there. Again, depending on the guy's voice and the room response, you've got to listen out for that. Um, but I would have seen a little a spike there on the frequency response. <clears throat> and now what I've done here, around 4K, you know, between 3 and 4K, a lot of them, um, that's where the human ear is going to pick up a lot of vocals, naturally. So, um you know, that must have been a bit lacking, so I just give it a little bit of a boost there. Nothing too big, man. Just like, what, 2 dB or something. All right, so we'll do a before and after. Before. Money. Hey. Hey. I'm hot. Come, come, suffer. After. This me. They in the head. Come, satala. Word up. Black O. Top shatala. Son in you niggas. Papa la. <laughs> pim, pim, pandi gal dem. After. From... From, from Gambia to Kingston. Uh, you should be able to hear how much brighter and clear that is. Some of you might just be thinking, yeah, but it sounds quieter. Well, obviously it's going to sound quieter because I'm taking away frequencies for the most part. I'm just adding a bit there. So, obviously, when you make something quieter, you need to compensate for that. Boom, let's go into the compression now. What did I do with this? Bring this here this time so you can actually see it. Money. Hey. Hey. I'm hot. Come, come, suffer. This me, they in the head. Come, satala. All right. So again, like like the previous one, this is being compressed pretty much all the time. Compression is a bit stronger. Attacks the same, releases the same, um, and all the settings are the same. It's definitely given this vocal more weight, um, and upfrontness, and and uh, sharpness. I like to call it again with the with the coloring that it's done. That's given it a shade of hot, um, that I like. I really like. Um, with the Renaissance compressor on vocals. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Um, you can already see it. Money. Hey. Hey. Always I'm hot. Pretty much. Come, come, suffer. This me. They in the head. Come, satala. Word up. Black O. Top shatala. Yeah, and it's about Sun six, six over six dBs of compression sometimes. So, you know, it's a hip hop vocal. Is You know, it's not bloody opera or, you know, I don't know, you know, a cappella. You know, this is hip hop. You can have your vocals strong and compressed up there. Just, you know, it's, when you start hearing artifacts, you've obviously pushed it. But, you know, use your ears, guys. Use your ears. So the same thing, yeah. JJP vocals. 
again boosted the high end um and yeah so just don't go crazy on everything again i've turned down the space because i'm using my own reverbs and delays but yeah just just having everything just at a nice level just to give it that that buzz so i'm gonna before and after this as well money hey before obviously hey before i'm hot come come suffer this okay. me they in the head come satala word up black o top shot a la son in you niggas papa la <laughs> Pim pim pandi gal dem After. from 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 Gambia to Kingston. See me, I got a problem. Now, I know you can all hear the big difference there. Again, my secret weapon for this vocal production business is the JJP plugin. Um, I started using this around 2010, 2011. And my boy Rob Voodoo, big up Rob Voodoo, and and uh, uh, the Lynch crew and Imaginarium crew. Yeah, he he basically recommended me this plugin. I sent him a vocal dubstep track one time and he was like, yeah, it's sounding a bit dry. Try this. So big up Rob, man. It's been with me for time since then. So, yeah, um, you can hear that. You can hear that. It's doing a good job. And then, obviously, the same, rev uh, the same reverb and the same delay on the send. And we get this. Money. Hey. Hey. I'm hot. Come, come suffer, uh. This me, they in the head, come satala. So I've got a noise gate on this delay. So the delay is not like trailing on a lot and getting in the way of vocals. It's just doing its thing, highlighting, highlighting it, spotting it. But yeah, the gate on the delay is good for unruly f uh, feedback times. You understand? All right. And then we have uh, the ad libs that is done. Now I just put an EQ on that because it was ad libs. You get me? I didn't really need to put it through all the uh, the madness um, with JJP and compression. It, it's serving its purpose. It sounded fine. So I just drenched it in a bit of this delay, uh, this reverb, which is an, a different reverb. Um, I like to use this as well. This is from Native Instruments. called the RC24. Check that out. I just got it on the large horse setting. It's lush. Money. Hey. Hey. I'm hot. Come, come, suffer. This me. They in the head. See, just little bits. Sweet. <laughs> With that reverb, <laughs> gives it that vibe. See me, I got. All right, so slightly that's Black Hole's thing done. All right, so let's go. Uh, go and see what we did with Dells's vocal. Big up Dells. Dells got bars for days. All right. Let's just play you Dells with everything fully turned on and, and how it is on the uh, on the record. You hate you know me cause and balls it and la you straight up with the bullet so can do your moon and we do more and talk less come cool out who's it? Oh yeah, the Don Dada, who hotter, you nada, Skywalker, Darth Vader, I do oh, yeah. father. You don't shot it, you imposter, your whole roster. My partners go beast mode, we zoo casa. And watch out for these snakes dressed in plain clothes. Mine on my peso, De Niro, I don't change though. On the block with the same click and the same bros. It's moola over everything, all I want is payroll. Oh, yeah. I'm back at it, I've been begging, you illmatic. Uh -huh. You been slacking, you bandwagon and still all jacking. Right. No chit chatting, I'm still macking, no click clacking. This rap thing, I own it, I kidnapped it. Ayy, so knock a lot, knock a lot. Mine and get. What I love about Dells is his sense of humor and his funness shines through in his ad libs as well. So let's just large these up. And, you know, without sort of going on, it's going to be a very similar thing. And it's just all about, um, here we go, finding out what that specific um, frequency spectrum of his voice needs to sound the best. So I'm going to solo this. And again, we'll turn it all off. And see how I made it sound better. All right, play it there, maybe. Yeah, the Don Dada, who hotter, you nada, Skywalker, Darth Vader, I do father. You don't shot it, you imposter, your whole roster. My partners go beast mode, we zoo casa, and watch out for these snakes dressed in plain clothes. Mind on my peso, De Niro, I don't change though. Okay, oh. so I cut this at 140. So a little bit higher than Black O, which makes sense because Dells does have a deeper voice than Black O. Um, 
there wasn't really any mud at 500 so i left that one and what i've done again here is uh you know a little bit lower from the three to 4k about 3.8 this time just yeah boosted up dale's yeah just what a couple d 4 db or something there just to give that that area a little lift you get me yeah the don dada who hotter you nada skywalker that's a bit it's a bit muddy um, it's not really tickling me on the high end. I'm gonna uh, gotta add that. So yeah, the Don Dada, who had it. Okay, so that's the EQ, simple EQ. What I'll do next is uh, compression. Obviously, you're gonna notice the same chain. Okay, this time let's turn this guy on. Yeah, the Don Dada, who had it. You nada, Skywalker, Darth Vader. I All right, compared to the previous two, Dell's has compressed a lot heavier. Right, so the amount that's constantly past the threshold is yeah, the Don Dada who had it significant, um, and it's even slightly clipping there, but don't watch that because that's being caught on the next bit. Um, yeah, the Don Dada who had it, you nada, Skywalker, Darth Vader. Yeah, so at times, at its at its at its uh, most peak, it's 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 been reduced by a minus twelve dB. Um, as again, pretty fast ratio. All the settings are the same, but again. You know, just adding color, just a whole world of difference. I'm just going to on off that again for you. Yeah, the Don Dada, who had it, you nada, Skywalker, Darth Vader, I do father. You don't shot it, you imposter, your heart. There's a lot more weight on the low end that comes through as well. So, yeah, you guessed it next. JJP, pretty much the same. With Dells, I gave him a bit more attitude and a little bit more magic than the other guys. But again, still a high end boost and a little bit of a low end boost there. Also work the de -esser a bit because um, I think he had a few issues. So let's turn this on while it's playing. Yeah, the Don Dada, who had it, you nada, Skywalker, Darth Vader, I do father. You don't shot it, you imposter, your whole roster. My partners go beast mode, we zoo casa, and watch out for these snakes dressed so, yeah, in plain no, clothes. You can all, all hear a major difference there. Again, it's just sounding distorted in a very nice way. It's got that, that character on it cutting through the mix like a razor and it's just sounding a lot better than um just the raw file so this is basically my go-to plugin with most vocals not all but most i've got a few other vocal little plugins but it's just, this is the main guy now um obviously the send effects complete it boom yeah the don dada who had it you nada Skywalker, Darth Vader, I do father. You right, now when we add the ad-libs to that, ad-libs didn't go through a compressor, they just went through the JJP. And the reason that is, is the tone of the lead changed significantly after JJP. And even though I'm, um, I didn't want it exactly the same, I wanted it in around the same ballpark. So I just copied that over. Um, obviously at a lower volume with uh, this reverb on it. Ad libs, yeah. Yeah, the Don Dada, who had it, you nada, Skywalker, Darth Vader, I do oh, yeah. father. Oh, yeah. You don't shot it, you imposter, your whole what? roster. My partners go beast mode, we zoo Ooh. casa, and watch out for these snakes dressed in Snake. plain clothes. Mind on my peso. Okay. God, I've, I've, it is all pretty simple, but you get me. If it's not broken, don't fix it. I mean, there are there are times where I've had to go in harder, but um, right. So that's that. Now let's move on to Strive. My main guy, Strizzy, from the bits. You get me? Big up Strive, Alpha Music, yeah? Um, let's get this out of the way and just see where we're going. All right. Young Dread, I've been a king since the flip phone. I'll do the competition, they ain't involved. They man are softer than Kimberly, they ain't Kimbo. And me and Cali got me leaning like limbo. You know my dreads, them swing like Buju. Hate on your highly highness, how could you? You know I ain't in all the juju. The most high, I make you fly when over the edge, they won't push you. Ay, you know I'm road, but I'm low as the lotus. She likes Calypso, no one the soca, I'm the coldest. Tell a fuck boy I'm more focused. Tell a man I'm higher. And I is so kosher If a thing wanna try, I'm a day's loaf. I see she gave me the eye, we were on the sofa Handling my jewels like a broker Alright, I got I got too too into his verse there I let it play for a bit Alright, this is interesting because I did treat this differently Basically, 
Strive as the last person to feature on this, and I, I actually tracked him myself, so um, the chain is slightly different. So let's again turn this all off. See what? Sorry, Strizzy. I'm gonna gonna lay you out bare here, but this is what he sounds like without anything. Young Dread have been a king since the flip phone. Outdo the competition, they ain't involved. Them man are softer than Kimberly, they ain't Kimbo. I mean, Cali got me leaning. Like All right, the first thing I can hear as an engineer, as a producer, it's way too boxy. When you talk about boxy, you're talking about low mids and high lows. Okay, 200, 250, um, and obviously below 120. So, um, just listening to that, I would have thought, right, EQs needed to deal with that business. What's What have I done? There you go. I knew it. 250, I took away the box and, yeah, filtered everything below. Um... 160 this time cool that makes perfect sense so let's do an a b with the with the uh, eq real quick young dread i've been a king since the flip phone right really boxy one more time listen how boxy it is young dread i've been a king since the flip like woolly young dread i've been a king since the flip phone all right let's take a razor tidy this up young dread i've been a king since the flip phone out dude right before young dread i've been a king since the flip phone after Young Dread, I've been a king since the flip phone. Beautiful, nice and nice uh, and spacious on the low, so it's not interfering with my headroom, which I need for later on. And that that annoying frequency is now. Young Dread, I've been a king since down. the flip phone. Uh Brilliant. That's what I like to see. So now, what I added here is something I didn't do with the other ones. I've added my favorite um, EQ analog eq for any for any like additive eq right when i'm not taking frequencies away but i want to add frequencies and color something um with a vibe i use api um and this is the 550b it's very very sensitive but i love it i love it uh, this works with everything from kick drums snare drums um subs to vocals i use it on, on anything uh, but um it's vocals especially it's nice so I'll do an A, B, but basically what you can see here at 7K, because Strive's vocal was so boxy and um, kind of woolly, I needed to add that bite. I needed to add that sort of zang to it, that zang, that ziz, you get me? So um, 7K, I added a minor 2 dB boost. At 3K, where remember I said that's kind of where the human voice sits for a lot of people, gave that a nice 4B boost, man nice nice 4b boost and that's it 4db sorry so that's it you take that away we'll e, B, a and b this young dread i've been a king since the flip phone b young dread i've been a king since the flip phone again just raising it and you know out of context with the music muted you might be thinking no that's a bit too high or, or nasal but it makes sense young dread i've been a king since the flip phone out dude okay so then after that additive eq added the r comp again Young Dread, I've been a king since the flip phone. Outdo the competition, yeah, sure, ain't sure. it? Pretty light compression, but it is pretty much compressing all the time. The attack on this is a lot faster than the other ones. Young Dread, I've been a king since the flip phone. Outdo the competition, ain't I just wanted to make sure it was it was a bit more squashed than the others. Um, in, in the, the the dynamic of the file was was very different, and it was it was recorded on a different mic from the other guys, so. Had to do a little bit of tweaking like that. Young Dread, I've been a king since the flip phone. And if you've noticed, I've used smooth here instead of warm because I, I just wanted, um, I wanted the peaks to be quite um, consistent. And Strive's vocals in nature just sort of peak unevenly, so that was just to sort of make it a bit more even. Um, and then JJP vocal again. Still added the highs, even though I added highs um, from the API. This is a fixed high, and, and to be honest, I don't know what frequency that's boosting, um, whether it's a shelf or a bell, but I trust Jack Joseph, yeah? So, and it sounds good, and I trust my ears. So again, space all the way down because of the sends, um, and I just played with it, you know? The, the attack adds a, uh, a, a bit of, well, attack, but a bit of punch. I didn't really want that, so I've put that down because I've, I've, I've minimized that on the compressor anyway. Um, so let's add this. 
Young Dread, I've been a king since the flip phone. Out, do the competition, they ain't involved. After. Young Dread, I've been a king since the flip phone. Out, do the competition, they ain't involved. So there you go, right in your face. Some clarity, no boxiness, and some nice light distortion to give it some character. Alright. Let me put the ad libs in now. Now, what I did with the ad libs here is something that I said at the beginning that I do with Strive's vocals a lot um, in all tracks. I mean, this is the sort of ASAP for Trap Lord kind of style. Let me play it to you now. So, lead plus ad libs. Young Dread, I've been a king since the flip phone. Hello. Out, do the competition, they ain't involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them man are softer than Kimberly, they ain't Kimbo. I mean, me in Cali. Okay, so, Red Light District is a <laughs> Red Light Distortion even is a distortion that comes native with uh, Studio One. Um, it does the job. There's probably some better distortions out there, but from a quick thing, I just put it on soft tube, high frequency. Obviously, you have to EQ it afterwards, heavily, yeah. Actually, let me just do the same thing. Let me turn all these off in stages and you can just see how I built this thing. Right. Young... Hello. <laughs> right, there you go. So you can see... How rubbish this shit sounds just on the first bit. So you've got to have a sort of a, a bird's eye view when you're adding this stuff. So I, I added that distortion first and I'm knowing I was going to have to do some EQing afterwards. Yeah. So the thing here is just to put the dirt on. Right? Hello. Hello. Right. That sounds pretty dirty. It's not very nice. I don't like it. Hello. But. Hello. You know what I mean? It's giving it that dirt. Hello. Right, so to, to sculpt sculpt away that dirt, I've used this EQ. Hello. Right. Hello. Hello. Thinned it out, taken away some extreme high ends as well. Hello. Hello. Right. Hello. I'm sure you can all hear that. So that's tidied that up, ironed it out a bit. Now, again, API 550B. Added a lot on 3K, 4DB. So it's pretty much the same as, as the uh, lead. Hello. 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 Yeah, it just brings it into frequency pocket. And now, compression again. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I am in. All right, that's not even really doing anything. So I must have just put that on there because I copied the whole chain on. Um, I think just because it's passing through the virtual circuitry, it's going to impart a slight character. But I'll be the first to admit that is probably not doing very much. All right, I'm going to leave it on there because there's probably a bit of character going on. Now, obviously, the JJP vocals bringing this into a new space. Hello. Hello. Right. Hello. Hello. And then what's really made this are the time-based effects. Hello. Now, all together. Out do the competition, they ain't involved. Them man are softer than Kimberly, they ain't Kimbo. And me and Cali got me leaning like limbo. You know my dreads, them swing like Bojo. Hey, on your highly highness. So that's the sort of vocal processing gone through. You know, I wish it was a bit more crazier in this session, but I've given away one of my secrets with the JJP. Yeah. Um. So that's cool. We're all gonna get better sound and vocal recordings out of it if all you guys get that and use that shit. Um, something else to talk about in terms of vocals is where they should sit now with with hip hop and rap music and trap music um, you've got to pay attention to the genre and listen to contemporary examples that are set in the pockets for everyone now I tend to follow uh, the sort of Mike Will Made It 40 Shabib who's Drake's producer um method and i want the snare or the rim shot or whatever is you know providing that third beat hit um to sit just just on top or on level with the vocal i don't want the lead vocal to be uh, uh on top of the snare drum right that's a personal choice and as producers we all that's what that's what producing is it's just making decisions and making choices right so with me i don't i don't like to struggle to hear the snare or the kick they're gonna be the two main things in my mix right 
and the, the vocal because it's rap is going to be the second main thing it can be on a par with the snare but you, you you know you want it to sit under it really in my view so there's um there's eq is one way of doing that and space don't just think it's just eq and volume yeah shout out to carnage <laughs> shots anyway um yeah it's not all it's not all volume and eq yeah you can set something back in the mix using reverb and that's one of the main tools i use um so let's just uh just on that just give it a little listen and pay attention to where the uh the snare hits and where the vocals are hitting frequency wise Remain involved. They man are softer than Kimberly, they ain't Kimbo. And me and Cali got me leaning like limbo. You know my dreads, them swing like Buju. Hate on your highly highness, how could you? You know I ain't in a order, Juju. The most high, I make you fly when over. Alright, so if you look at the volume of the stride vocal there, for example. Remain involved. They man are softer than Kimberly, they ain't Kimbo. About minus eight, I'd say, on average. And I just remain involved. They man are softer than Kimberly, they ain't Kimbo. And me and Kelly got me leaning like limbo. I'm really sorry, guys. I keep forgetting to do that. There we go. My first one, I'll get there. I'll get there. Right, so if we pay attention to Strive's vocal here. Remain involved. They man are softer than Kimberly, they ain't Kimbo. I mean. On average, it's about minus eight. Now this snare, when it comes in. The main involved. They man are softer than Kimberly. They ain't Kimbo. And me and Cali got me leaning like limbo. You know my dreads, them swing like Bojo. Hey, on your highly highness, how could you? And that's constantly hitting minus six. So that's already 3 dB louder. But you can still hear everything in its place as it should be. Um, like I said, guys, it ain't one size fit all. Every vocal has a... a different need every mix down has different needs yeah so basically what you guys need to do spend a lot of time listening to music on the system that you're mixing on um and just do your best do your best and just keep on doing it and one day you get me one day you you you'll find that it comes naturally but yeah input equals output card the more time you put in the better it is um so yeah i guess i'm gonna leave it there i'm sorry if this wasn't as uh professional as uh, it's gonna be you get me i'm gonna add more bits and pieces and uh, go in more depth um, in the future i'm thinking about doing a whole track from scratch so tell me what you lot think about that um, but yeah thanks for tuning in go share this um, subscribe all of that good thing yeah um, so yeah this is shroff aka illu trap 93 alpha music fkk records caps and pro audio you're done no the done no out